thing. Pac-Man. Remember Pac-Man? I'm thinking about a choir conductor. I, I, I've thought about her a bunch lately. She picked some beautiful songs. She was kind of bonkers. I kind of liked it. The way she, she conducted, kind of like swaying her hips and moving a lot. And she had a couple of things. You know, there are these fundamentals that you think you can drill into the kids in three days before they have the concert and then go home. One of them was that we had silent rehearsals where we would follow the score but not sing. At one point we were having a silent rehearsal and one of the sopranos didn't get it, so she had a solo for the whole song. <laughs> the conductor kept saying, one of the sopranos doesn't know we're having a silent rehearsal and she just really didn't know. She, unlike most who were training teens to sing, she didn't think make a big, big sound and be open. Hers is really ooh, small ooh, lots of ooh in the songs. Even even other vowels needed to be ooh. ooh. She, she, she had a thing, and it, I think about it all the time. And I don't think about this joke, which is the largemouth ass keeps doing this ma, 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 and introduces himself to all these different people and finally meets something that, you know, what do you do? I live here and I do this and I do the other thing. And what do you eat? I eat largemouth bass. And the largemouth bass goes, woo. And that's how she wanted us to sing. Woo. Like that. Still remember her. Still remember the outfit she wore to the final concert. Had paisley and kind of spirally things going on. But you know, this is how it is in music. Whether you're an opera diva or a conductor or, you know, the oboist. You pick an outfit and a hairdo that work for you when you start your career and you just ride it the whole way.